Hi guys, Rui here with another bit for Blender. In this one, we're gonna talk about Snap Grid from Box Cutter, and I'll show you how to perform precise, mathematically uh, accurate cuts on your mesh. So if you're designing something, you know, super uh, accurate and uh, it needs to be symmetrical and precise, this is exactly how you achieve such effect. Okay, let's just hide it and let's grab a cube. Okay, and I'm going to drop my screencast key so you can see what I'm doing. All right. So now let's uh, you know let's let's grab some cavity in here and let's uh, drop a bevel with hard ops and let's drop weighted normals and now we're gonna start cutting so let's go press D and go to box cut and you know you draw a cut you perform a cut and uh, you know it's kind of a free free cut so you, you know you can place it anywhere you want right so it's not really very precise. Now, if you want to be precise with your booleans, you can always enable grid. And grid is a fantastic tool that is extremely powerful and very useful. So to enable grid, you need to be first of all in object mode because it works best in that mode. So switch it to object instead of view, right? Object. And preferably here in not orthographic, but in perspective. Okay. These are the preferable settings for, uh, for Snapgrid to work. You need to turn this uh, magnet icon, which is very similar to this magnet icon. Don't confuse them. That's different. That's from Vanilla Blender. That's a box cutter Snapgrid. Okay. You need to turn this one snap to grid okay which will display the snap grid and of course you need to um, uh, enable this one which will allow you to snap um, snap your booleans to increments okay now this uh, box in here enables you to um, dial down or up your increments or size of your grid so you can see that if i have this object selected and i hold control and I'm, uh, my mouse is over the object not somewhere here but you know hovers over the object you will see this grid being uh, displayed and you'll see these dots um, around the face right grid works in different uh, perspectives you need to simply repress the control key to reset it and adjust it to another another face now um, if you want to change because the default is actually a 0 0.25 which is quite big to be honest that's a default cube 2 by 2 so it's quite large actually so if you want to go uh, you know um, uh, into smaller increments you hold control and you simply scroll your wheel and you can just make this grid a little bit smaller so let's make it uh, really small to you know 0 0.05 and here you can adjust to which elements your grid's gonna snap so of course vert edge and face so let's say that i want to draw a box right and this one it will tell uh, a box cutter what are the minimum angles the increment angles of snapping so for instance it's uh, it says here rotate but it's not just rotate it's also the angle of um, of snapping for example when you draw an angle so let's say that i want to draw a box right and i want to replicate these cuts from the previous example i showed you before so you hover over this uh, box in object mode in perspective you hold control and you have this grid and when you start drawing you can see that this box is start snapping to uh, to these grids so you can determine how big you want you know this you, you want this box to be and I can repeat these cards, you know, as many times as I want, and they go are gonna always be very precise because you know you're drawing based uh, based off of a grid, right? This one is a little bit too small, right? So it needs to be a little bit larger like this. And there you go. And of course you're gonna get some pulling because uh, you know we're working with bevels, so we simply need to introduce these uh, loop cuts, so you know we're not gonna get any crazy edges being connected to the other edges because each boolean needs to uh, needs to be connected via two edges to uh, to the uh, outer edges of a face that it's been cut in or added to okay and that works with any boolean so for instance if i wanted to instead of cut introduce a, a union boolean i just press j uh, on a keyboard press e to extrude this way and you know that's a union boolean so there you go okay now this like i said works with ngon as well so if i switch to ngon and then i want to you know draw an ngon you can see that it snaps perfectly to to these uh, squares right okay so let's say i finish drawing and i wanted to rotate it you know press r and z 
because the cutter is rotated right so the local axis is z and you can rotate it in increments you can see that it snaps in increments and the increments are 15 degrees you can change it to five and then you know you press r and you can rotate it in five degrees so this is really cool and very powerful way of work and of course you can use all the tools that box cutter offers like for example bevel or taper right so you can do all these crazy cuts uh, as you wish and they're gonna be extremely precise okay grid also like i said work with ngon so if you're gonna turn on this ngon lock so now if i'm gonna go to ngon mode right and um i'm gonna draw an ngon now my ngon is gonna be snapping okay you see and this um, uh, these values here will determine the uh, angle of uh, end gun snapping so you could bypass um you could bypass the um uh, the the grid snapping okay by turning the end gun snap and you know uh, you can see that even if i release this grid my ingon is still snapping okay now if you want uh, to have a, a free a free angon snap without any grid you just simply turn it off and angon will still snap because you have this uh, angle lock enabled and if you hold control you can disable it so it's all under here right uh, the quick access to this menu is d so you can change it under d d actually is quite a powerful menu so i use it quite often so you can do uh, you know perform all these actions in here you can lock the size of the grid as well so this will lock it uh, so it will not change so anyway guys that's a quick video on how to use snap grid in box cutter extremely powerful tool and a very good one for uh, drawing precision cuts uh, you want something to have an equal distance from one another so let's say that i, I you know i was uh i wanted to draw uh, let's say you know, some kind of an angle on cut in here right like this right it's not gonna be straight but it doesn't matter and then i wanted to maintain the same distance uh, between you know uh, several cuts here yeah? so i can you know i can i can maintain this distance by i'm not doing a very good job here but you, you get the point right so i can maintain the same distance between uh, these cuts using this grid so for example if you create some sort of a pattern like on a pillar or something this is a fantastic way of working the grid work, works also with with the circle so if you want to draw a circle perfectly in the middle of a face uh, you can you know snap it here and it's going to be in the middle of a face if you for example introduce loops to uh, to a mesh so let's subdivide it okay this face you will see i'm going to have um grid for every single face so i can draw it in the middle of a line of an edge or, or in the middle of you know of this uh, this square so if i draw a circle in here and press shift t uh, shift t to uh, taper this right and i apply this and then i want to uh, mirror this by holding shift you will see that i'll have uh, these circles dead on in the middle of these four faces so like i said extremely powerful tool for hard surface modeling anyway guys hope you enjoyed the vid give us a like and sub if you did and as usual there are links in the video description to all kinds of items i'm using especially hard ups and box cutter but also deco machine um kit ops you know ev materials um instamat all these goodies that i'm using every day so if you want to check these settings out Go in the video description and click on the link. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video.